In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about Taraji P. Henson's problem with Hollywood and how you can get people to follow you. Well, let's get into it. And I heard on the street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um, mm. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes, us. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, mm -hmm. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do the math. Mm -hmm. Now we have 5 million. Mm -hmm. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is getting off of what you grossed, Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm. So I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only human and, and mm -hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again mm -hmm. like I never mm -hmm. did what mm -hmm. I just did and I'm just mm -hmm. tired. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is that telling me? What is it telling me? Yeah. And what does it tell me? Mm. Yeah. You know? And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, don't apologize. Don't apologize. I, I think it's an important message for people to hear because we see the lights, camera, action. Yep. Yep. And yep. then and they tell so me we don't yes. translate overseas. Yeah. 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 I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing. And I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm -hmm. And I'm just supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep, like, mm -hmm. enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I have other things. I have my TPH brand, I have my mental wellness, I have other things because. This industry, if you let it, whew, it'll steal your soul. Mm -hmm. But I refuse to let that happen. Yeah. This review isn't a diss or me trying to kick her when she's down. Now, this is just an observation of problems in human behavior. I'm providing actual steps for you to improve. Now that's out the way, there's a couple of problems. The first problem is that she is too grandiose. Grandiose isn't narcissism where everything revolves around you. Grandiose is when you have a big ego. People go see Denzel Washington or Will Smith. If they have a string of bad movies, the studios are not as worried because they know people will go see them no matter what. She hasn't had many significant roles other than the case of Benjamin Button. The studios don't have faith that she has that bounce back appeal if she has a string of bad movies and she doesn't have that crossover appeal. People are not lining up to go see Taraji P. Henson because she is in a movie. This is not to say that she isn't any good, but she doesn't wow people enough nationally and globally. She made it a point that she's been acting for 20 plus years and she's tired of the bullshit from these studios. She wants to be paid based on longevity and what she feels as though she deserves. She's paid based on how many tickets are sold or how many people are watching on their streaming services. People that are grandiose think so Someone should love them just because they are existing. That's not how it works. She has to stop thinking people should give her a job because she's been in the movie industry for 20 years and she thinks she is just as talented or if not more talented as the other women. The second problem is failure to recognize the studio patterns. Taraji P. Henson is black and a female. Back in 2015, black actors protested Oscar so white to get the studios and filmmakers to hire more black actors. Well, it didn't work. Why is it that the studios aren't hiring black actors? Because they don't have to. 
There is no union for black people to go to and help them fight for job opportunities in Hollywood. Time after time, studio execs have shown Tarashi P. Henson that they're not hiring black people in droves, especially black women. Now, there have been some small changes here and there, but the changes aren't big enough to have an effect. But overwhelmingly, nothing has changed since 2015. How I know? Because she's crying about it. Too many times we get into relationships that are no good for us, but we hang in there expecting them to change. Even after five years, we are expecting them to change. We try to hang on to people so they can change their destructive habits. When they don't change, we get disappointed. This is the same thing. These studios have been repeatedly showing her time after time who they want. She keeps expecting a different outcome and she keeps getting the same results. After a while, it's a vicious cycle. It won't get any better till she hops off the wheel. There are two things she can do to get the people to follow her and get the results that she wants. The first one is to become a leader. If you want to become a leader, practice these in your own life. You have to find out what your leadership style is. One of the best ways to find out is to look at the people that you admire and practice their habits. If you don't have any contact with them, read as many books as you can and watch a lot of videos of them. Practice empathy. Learn to listen to people, not just what they say, but what they do. Understand that you earn people's respect and that you're not entitled to it. You get respect by giving it. When you do this, people open themselves up to you and you can influence them at any time. Practice setting the tone. Do this from the beginning. Work harder than everyone else. Give yourself high standards. Be consistent and persistent. Be the first person to make sacrifices. This sets the tone. Practice serving. When you're serving people, you're pouring into them. Taking from people creates resentment practice adjusting. Now I'm not saying to give up your moral values, but don't be so rigid in how you think. The older you get, the more you get set in your ways. You become a tyrant and you lack patience. People will start to see you as feeling entitled. To avoid being the angry old man, understand that you're dealing with people, young and old. They have feelings. You have to show empathy. Back in the day, actors and comedians would take years working on their craft. If someone saw your talent or saw potential in your talent, they would bring you in and work with you and polish you. They would say, let's work together and find your audience. Nowadays, things are different because of the internet, cell phone, and social media. There are no barriers to entry. Now these companies say, you have an audience, join us. Just like her, what you need to do is to look for new markets and a different audience to appeal to. I'm not saying you need to appeal to a younger crowd because you won't understand them, but you need to change up how you do things over time and how she gets out her performance to the audience. What she needs to do is to make content based on where the people are. The people are on their cell phones, streaming services, and social media, not network TV and movie theaters. Nowadays, kids aren't watching network TV or going to the movies. They are consuming media through their cell phones. Too many artists are stuck and their old ways of doing things and they're getting left behind. One of them being Taraji P. Henson. The second solution is to recognize patterns. It's estimated that 65% of people's communication is nonverbal. The most significant indicator of people's character comes through their actions over time. People say that they have learned and changed over the years, but you'll see the same actions and choices made over the course of their life. Now, people don't do things just once. They will do the same thing over and over again. Taraji P. Henson needs to stop expecting studio to hire her because their pattern is hiring other white actors. White Hollywood keeps saying that they're going to change, but they haven't. Because she ignores the patterns of the hiring process when it comes to actors, it's her fault.